Hello from Slovenia again. Today I have an idea in my head. Uh, you see I cut this one part of this uh, paper napkin and I have a pour here that it's not quite something and I was thinking that I will try to do a decoupage Parsh technique. You probably all know this on the top of this pour, and of course, with this technique, you have to separate your napkin to the tiniest part. You probably know that, and I will add this on this canvas and uh, I just mixed some PVA glue with water I will just thin it down a little bit I just do this uh, you can buy all those products that are made for this technique but uh, you can improvise just with PVA glue and water and what I will do I will add some glue and of course this painting is dry <laughs> it's not uh, uh, wet painting so And now I will place down my napkin. Try to do this. And And I don't mind if I have a little bit of, you know, this structure or how can I say. Because uh, it gives kind of a little something to the painting too. You can uh, cut out just some parts of the these uh, napkins. I just want to try this one like this to use the whole one. And I think that I have some air underneath here. Or just you know me, I like to play with my fingers. I will just try to pop this here a little bit. I didn't, didn't do this perfectly, but just an experiment that I want to try. And of course I uh, expect that this will, uh, when this will dry, that it will be a little more transparent. 
because this mixture is kind of white when it's wet uh, and uh, I have some uh, other objects that maybe I will try this do this on to you and see what will happen definitely I should do a better job with the layering but not so bad okay so I will take you down for a close-up for the wet result you see I get some of this structure but I don't mind and stay tuned for the dry result bye for now so you see I didn't do a perfect job <laughs> with this uh, uh, layer layer of a napkin but it's still kind of cool and what I will do next